All right, we're here in the car today with Dan. You want to give your full name or? Uh, Dan's good. Dan, Dan's good, yeah. Dan and um, uh, Clean Technica reader for a long time and uh, you're gonna enjoy the full self-driving test drive today. We're gonna go from this location to go to Target. This is a very busy area. We've gone into this area several times actually, but um, doing it on a Sunday. We're gonna see, yeah, it could be crazy. We might have, we had a disengagement going this direction last time, so we'll see how it goes. And then we'll do another trip after we get there. So just to start with, we've got the drive. I think I have to go a little bit before. I, there we go. And now it's a uh, well, little, quick start yeah. but uh, yeah it's I think that's one thing that's supposed to change with the next update is it is supposed to be a little bit slower accelerating so we're going around a nice little residential neighborhood here very I think now after that acceleration is very natural electric Toyota here? It is, I think. Yeah. Or is it, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but it was... It's either or I haven't seen that. I think that took that turn nicely, what do you think? Absolutely. Yeah. Smooth, really smooth. Very smooth. It was careful, but um, not, not slow. Yeah. Taking us pretty efficiently to this uh, stop sign. This is where it's still, you know, legally it's making a full stop at stop signs because that's what you have to do. Oh, here comes another Tesla. What's it gonna do? It's gonna <laughs> say wave to the Tesla. <laughs> Nobody does the Tesla wave anymore. I don't, oh. I don't do it. Nobody does it. Nobody cares. Even in their, your neighborhood, they don't. Uh, Not anymore. Nobody acknowledges it seems. It's Not like too, the Jeeps. Uh... Too mainstream. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It used to be a thing. But uh, I would say, actually, around the time the Model 3 started selling in high volumes, it sort of started to disappear. Uh, maybe we can bring it back. Yeah, I've, I've uh, <laughs> tried to. I tend to just feel awkward when I'm waving and they're just st <laughs> not, so, no, why are you not waving. <laughs> so, it was interesting because I haven't had this situation before getting out of a gate like this. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, I almost, I almost was going to step on the brake and start going faster, <laughs> but it uh, saw the barrier. So let's see how we do. Yeah. So this is a faster road. The really tricky part is down there going under the interstate, which is where we had the disengagement last in the last video where I had to disengage because yeah, if you haven't seen the video, there's two lanes that get onto I-75 south, the interstate going south, and we wanted to go straight and the car had us in the far left lane. So you'd be trapped if you wouldn't be able to really safely get out of that that lane at the last minute because there's another lane next to you where the car's going onto the interstate. So um, because the car wasn't getting on that lane and I didn't want to get stuck on the interstate, I disengaged and um, so we'll see how it handles it this time. Yeah. Maybe starting here, it will, uh, yeah, we'll see. But how are you feeling, Dan? You have, you've been in a, in the self, full self-driving, uh, in the car with full self driving on at night before without much traffic. How are you feeling with the traffic and the? I feel like it's uh, someone driving. Yeah, it it's feels a, so natural. Right? Yeah, it does. And honestly, uh, I feel like it uh, drives better than at least 50, 60 percent of the folks around. Yeah, I would say yeah more than I would say better than 80 percent. Exactly. Yeah. Except yeah. for. those odd occasions where yeah. where it just gets a little bit um, confused at an intersection perhaps mm -hmm. but in every other case it seems like it's just so it's so consistent smooth natural yeah. doesn't do anything now absolutely unpredictable I was gonna 
say it's not affected by the extreme heat. It's about 100 degrees here mm -hmm. Fahrenheit, 36 Celsius. And uh, on the other hand, maybe the maybe the computer will get it affected by the extreme heat. <laughs> tell uh, how well it's doing uh, I'm not surprised that if another company is indeed uh, interested in yeah. using the, I have the to. technology you weren't did you go on a drive with me before version 12 or no uh, no trapped there. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna disengage because I don't want to be trapped there and there's a fire truck coming up. Oh well. So, uh, well there's one disengagement. I could re-engage right now, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna wait till we cross the light. That way maybe it won't put us in the wrong lane again. Okay. And this is the second lane from the left, but I think that lane splits into two maybe. Yep. Yeah, so this one should be okay. It's not letting me engage here. <laughs> So this one, oh, because I'm going up instead of down, what was I thinking? Oh my gosh, oh, my yeah. brain flipped somehow. That's okay. Anyway, so we're, we're re-engaged, <laughs> and now that we're in the correct lane, it's, we're going to see how it handles here. So, yeah, last drive when we came here, we wanted to go left after this light. Mm -hmm. Problem was that it kept us in the in the right most turn lane, and then we got trapped on one side of a median where we could only go straight, and it wanted to go left, and it started to stop at the green light to try to go left. So I had to disengage there. Yeah. This should be easier for it because we want to go right at, after the light, mm -hmm. and um, so we're going to turn left, and then we're going to want to take a quick right, okay. and it should be able to handle that. Again, back there. I don't know why it wanted. Oh, now it. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> why? It's, it's, it's trying right. because there's more space here. Yeah, yeah. But now it's gonna get trapped. Oh well, we're gonna see something interesting at least. That was too simple, I guess. Yeah. It wants to show off. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I I don't know what's gonna happen here if it's gonna try to slow it down because we need to make the turn right after we turn left here. Immediately. That was, um, yeah, it's just like, it's decision making on what lane to be in is its number one problem right now. Okay. And then my concern is then when it gets to the part where it needs to turn, mm -hmm. whether it tries to, you know, unpredictably slow down or stop where it shouldn't to make a turn or, mm -hmm. or you just miss the turn and have to go longer. So we're gonna see here we're gonna have to be ex extra vigilant here because <laughs> right there, yeah, there's a lot of traffic and uh, if it starts to, I'll just tell you right now, if it starts to try to slow down at all, to try to change lanes at the last minute, mm -hmm. turn right, right there, mm -hmm. I'm gonna disengage because it's too risky with all the traffic and uh, you know, people not expecting you to do that. Gotcha. So in that case, I will disengage and go up to the next turn but um, let's hope it finds an easier way to get over there quickly. <laughs> yeah. It might quickly find the opening, we'll see. All right, here we go. go. Right. Extra vigilant. <laughs> better at cutting to the front of the line than I am because <laughs> I would not have cut those three cars to, to try to squeeze in. 
unless it, but it was so smooth. Yeah, it was very smooth. What, what were you saying? Uh, unless it assessed that that Hyundai had a high probability of, you know, being very slow and it had a good chance to get into the right lane. It's a BMW for sale in the Target parking lot. <laughs> Haven't seen that. It was a Model Three like mine with a big. Oh wow! Yeah, got a little got hit on the back side. So we're going to stop here real briefly and then we'll do the next part of the drive after I pick up an order. Alright, so uh, park there maybe. Alright. Alright, so we're leaving Target and we're going to go to some other area we haven't been to before, haven't driven to before. Um, and we're going to go back under the interstate the way we, we came, but uh, back the other direction, see what happens. And uh, yeah, we'll give it a shot. It's a 12 minute drive. And start driving, and then right here. Oh, needs me to get a little bit more. There we go. It's one thing, but I can't stop doing two. All right, it's gonna take us out. We go out that way, which I prefer not to go out because there's often traffic there. But it's funny that it's not taking us that way. Because that would be quicker, no? Oh, it doesn't, maybe it doesn't see the, the exit entrance there. Interesting. Yeah, how does it do over here? Yeah, how's it going to handle this, right? Yeah. Got an Ionic 5 there. Yeah, I saw that. I saw love that. the Ionic 5. It's one of the coolest. Oh my, is it going to... Try to squeeze through here. This guy should not be <laughs> should not be parked there. He's in the fire lane even. Oh, good eye. Notice the target employee. I guess it went this way so they could show off a little more. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it's capabilities. And it's patience for uh, Is it gonna let it? <laughs> yeah, I was curious if it would because I mean yeah, my English would be go ahead and get the get to the stop sign before these people come close, but um, it noticed them and it was more cautious. It's probably the right thing to do. Yeah, that makes sense. Stop sign. Starts going. This guy. Yep. We're in Florida. People just wandering in front of cars <laughs> <laughs> at a turtle's pace. It's gotten very hot. Some folks looking. Yeah, this <laughs> car is. Uh, oh, this wait for her but she's um, oh my why does it want to go oh, no, no. I don't know no, I don't want to go that way <laughs> I'm just gonna just I don't want to go that way we wouldn't go this way it makes more sense okay. I would say that wasn't a required disengagement it was just I'd rather get out this exit and go through the parking lot again and try to go to the other exit makes sense Like go through the parking lot back to the exit we came, from, which wouldn't it even make sense because you can't turn left at that. You have to go. Oh wow, this is some traffic. Yeah. Let's see how it handles that. We got cars on the right and left trying to get in here. Oh my gosh. Any other impressions, Dan, from? Um, First time driving with full self driving in the daytime? So far. Uh, I mean well both impressions I I felt safe. Yeah. Like that uh, that was my first takeaway. Um, I didn't feel unsafe. Yeah. You know, there's always some you know uh, anxiety with like what it uh, not knowing what it's gonna do. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so far I feel uh, like overall pretty pretty good. One thing I just noticed here, you should leave a gap for the cars to go into that. Yeah. 
and it did leave the gap appropriately, whereas a lot of humans would not realize. Yeah. Oh, no, you see, this is where it's jerking back and forth. Not the safest thing to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> to decide. Like, that's the one thing it still does. Like, if that car behind wasn't paying attention part of that time, it could have just, you know, thought I was going one way and then accelerated. And that would have been not good. So, it's the one thing still. It just, it has trouble deciding what lane to get into mm -hmm. sometimes. And, um... The only thing David and I were saying is that, well, <laughs> it's not atypical for Florida drivers to drive in such a way. So you, so, it's area so appropriate. appropriate. So good drivers should be well aware that there might be uh, odd behavior. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. All those northerners relocated no, I'm just yeah. <laughs> no it's how true. long have you been here now two uh, years a few years two, yeah. three three four years when, when do you qualify as a as a real floridian oh, i don't know <laughs> that's a good question it's a really good question i don't know yeah hmm do you feel like um do you feel do you feel like this is normal like you're used to the the florida traffic and driving yeah. environment now yeah, yeah absolutely and the heat yeah yeah. Actually, yeah, I do. You feel comfortable with me? Yeah, surprisingly. I'm wondering how I'll do in the snow. Oh my, yeah. <laughs> Even driving. Oh man. Yeah. Get used to things. Yeah. Yeah, so aside from that though, it did handle, that's a bit of a tricky situation there with all the cars trying to get in here to get to the light and um, I think it handled it all well except for that one back and forth. Uh, trying to decide what lane to be in. And I was already up a little bit like, why is it trying to get in that lane? Because we're gonna be turning right in a moment here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And again, like why would it get in the left lane? Then you're gonna be trapped or have to make a quick move over in heavy traffic. Uh, I don't know, it all comes down to a navigation issue though it seems because. Yeah. All right, here we go. A different scenario here. It looks like some cars are. Oh, okay, they've moved on. There were cars in the middle of the intersection. Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. Thought we might be blocked. Why is it slowing down there? Oh my, that was weird. Don't know why it slowed down before uh, getting Gillian's lane. I wasn't sure if someone was coming up. So here, theoretically, it should just stay in this lane mm -hmm. and go straight under the interstate. I would rather be in that lane because it's easier to, um, to, there's just typically less traffic in that lane. Okay. If I wasn't recording, I would just disengage and get in that lane, but uh, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. The Cadillac rolled up here, but, um, but we'll see if it decides to stay in this lane to go under the interstate or if it decides it should go... I don't even know if it would choose the right or left. I don't know what it would do. I think it, the only reason it might change lanes, I think, is if it feels like it's not going as fast as it would like. Mm. But we'll see. And we have the brand new Tesla store and service center up here on the right that Dan is going to, I think, uh, when we get closer, probably get a view of. can't see anything. I, Just beyond the yard house. Yeah, behind the yard house restaurant. Cyber truck in the window there. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm very attentive here because. Uh, oh wow. <laughs> she was a little bit uh, <laughs> impatient. Even before that, I noticed she was almost. She came up real quick behind the Cadillac. Right. Okay, so it is getting into the right lane, which I think is. I would rather be in. And it gives us a better view of the Tesla store at the red light here. Indeed. Oh, the Cybertruck is missing. Oh, uh, someone bought it. <laughs> they delivered it to someone. Oh, it's too bad. It's, yeah, we get to get a Model Y and Model 3 there in the window. I will say I got inside the box, the top glass box. The 
there's uh, where the cyber truck normally is. Yeah. We got in there uh, last week and got to see it, and um, it was quite interesting. <laughs> and then on the roof there, they have a lot of new cars ready for delivery. That's great. Yeah, a lot of folks looking. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, where's the cyber truck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've got a. Is that plywood? We got a yeah. board, a wooden board here. I'd rather not run over it, but uh, I don't know if the car's. I don't, the car doesn't seem to see it, so. I don't know. see. I don't think it's going to run over it anyway. It looks it's clear. Yeah. driving over it to not just ruin the tires. Yeah. I don't think it's going to avoid it. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, oh my. Same. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I always I, avoid that. I avoid that lane and, and then here's the second part. Yep, <laughs> got it both. I, I try to avoid that lane just to not even have to go around it, but it definitely, I almost never, yeah. Oh, it wasn't disengaged for no reason. So again, still, it, it doesn't avoid potholes and those kinds of like things in the road, mm -hmm. which is one of the big downsides as well, because you really don't want to hit everything that's in your path, that's, you know, even if it's small. Um, that's true. Especially some potholes that are quite, you know, quite deep. But yeah, we're going well, aside from that. And, uh, Feels very natural. Absolutely. I could put it above the speed limit here a little bit. Because no one's just going to drive. Actually, heavy traffic here is one place where I do drive the speed limit. I mean, most places around here you, you can't drive the speed limit or you're way outside of the norm, mm -hmm. the flow of traffic. But this area, when it gets a lot of cars, is a good spot to actually be at the speed limit. Virginia. I lived near the Walkable downtown where I worked, so I didn't need a car there. And then uh, in, in Europe as well, didn't need a car, so I was car free until we came back to Florida. And then, uh, <laughs> then I bought electric cars, so BMW i3 first, and then the Tesla Model 3. So I never, I don't even know where gas stations are normally unless they like really stand out or I go there for air for my tires. Mm -hmm. That's why I have a warning here. Oh, okay. need, to, need to put air in the tires. Yeah. I have a pump at home uh, if you want to do it before we go. Oh, yeah. I have a machine, but I have a machine, but I'm not sure if I know how to use it. It's sort of an old. Gotcha. But Wawa's got free air, which is always. 
always easy to easy to use and quickly check the maybe I'll do it on the way home. Okay. <laughs> or we yeah, I'll check what you have, but yeah, now yeah. you have things to do. It's all good. Well this is actually a pretty easy I'm confused actually. I moved the max speed up to fifty five. Yeah. But it's going forty eight. I find a little bit confusing because normally it just goes whatever you put it to or if it wouldn't if it wouldn't go higher it wouldn't let you choose a higher max like in the past in some cases but um, mm -hmm. I'm confused why it's only going 48 when I've set it up to 40 to 55 maybe because of the shade and the different th stuff it was not comfortable driving faster easily make a right turn here real quick but it's gonna do the uh -huh. legal thing of making a full stop oh my gosh <laughs> takes a second making a full stop and then it peels out <laughs> what is going on there see that's the one case now where it, it i think it did something that wasn't didn't feel natural right yeah and and also leaving um the, the first time leaving the parking space residential neighborhood yeah other than that other than that it's, it's done everything in a natural human-like way very good human driver way yeah um yeah, this is pretty easy drive now so we'll see uh, when we get into the uh waterside place it's a kind of town center so we'll see how it deals with that that area traffic is even 15 miles per hour above the norm, mm -hmm. above the speed limit. Um, it's interesting because I've never come through the neighborhood here. Yeah. Have you ever gone here? Yeah, just explore. Okay. It's a pretty nice Because I've gone to the waterside place, but I'll never through the through a residential area like this. It's, I like one thing here when it goes through residential areas like this mm -hmm. it goes I think a little slower than the average driver yeah and I actually like that because yeah I think um, with the potential of kids or uh, whatever animals anything running across the residential street it's better to be cautious mm -hmm. even if it has reflexes of spider-man it's <laughs> a <laughs> tree there yeah But you can get there through here. Yeah, so maybe I'll do it quickly. Yeah. We still have time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just add it, see if we can add it before I get to this place. Oh, okay. Waterside place. That's, <laughs> that explains why we're not <laughs> going this place. The thing that this does is it tries to... Past the no. <laughs> oh, do we pass the the first destination already? Huh, not sure. Yeah, I guess. 
guess so. I think we just passed it. I think we just passed it, yeah. Didn't, uh, but it's going to go back there, I think. 808 crosswinds. Maybe I should just drop that one now. Okay, we're gonna. This is a beautiful neighborhood. Yeah, very nice. Look at that tree. I love these trees. Oh, yeah. They drop. They have these cool pods. These big pods too. Pods of seeds. Giant seeds. Wow. The one with the red. The yeah, yellow red. Yeah, yeah. Reddish yeah. orange. Uh, Some beautiful flowers. Yeah. timing or should I change the uh, yeah I'm good skip water okay we're good either. we're close to the tennis courts oh there's tennis courts here yeah oh my <laughs> we're gonna take an hour break here between <laughs> <laughs> oh that's sweet are they uh, completely private or? uh no it's um I mean it's for the neighborhood but you know there's it's not like locked up like a normal person yeah just maybe a little bit slower than someone I mean actually it's just, it's just driving the speed limit now 25 which is if I didn't know better um, I, I would I would have thought you were driving you would think a responsible person was yeah. driving uh, through here that's good pretty yards a lot of nice fields said this was all a uh, ranch before, right? Like, literally? Probably, right? Yes. Uh, all this, 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 everything, like, pretty much everything east of the interstate here was ranch land wow. 20 years ago. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, there's apparently even, like, two main ranches on each side of University Parkway here, mm -hmm. owned by by brothers who don't talk to each other anymore. Oh, no. That's what I understood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. And they've both probably become like practically billionaires off of how much yeah. they've made selling off the ranch land to these developments. Wow. Gets us here, and um, is this the destination? Is this it? I guess so. 808, yeah, so yeah. now it should tell us. Maybe we have to park. And now continue trip. Uh huh. <laughs> I still yeah. have to put it in drive again. Oh, yeah, so it disengaged when I parked. Okay. I had to tap the, I thought, you know, from here especially, there's nothing in front. Mm -hmm. It's easy to see where you're going, but it, it makes me press the accelerator before I can engage. Uh, Which so is probably smart so you don't accidentally engage it without yeah. driving. Another added safety. But yeah. Alright, so we're going to be, oh, this is 10 minutes away. Oh, maybe we'll skip this. Should we skip this? Uh, I'm I mean, I'm okay if you're... okay? Yeah. Sure. Okay, yeah, yeah. so we'll go here. So this will be interesting because it's a little bit of a town center. Taxi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Are you having thoughts on that? Yeah, I I feel very confident uh, in our near future. And, uh, you think my car will be able to make me money? I hope. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that was the original idea. While we sleep, right? Uh, that's why I paid six thousand dollars for full self driving. Yeah, uh, that's amazing. Which is now I think twelve thousand. But uh, yeah. yeah. Sure, I've, I've done a, a long video explaining why I think there's still edge cases and scenarios where yeah. it's just going to be hard to get past that final hurdle and then the issue of regulators. Mm -hmm. So this is my concern, but um, on the other hand, the, the leap to 12.3 was so big and it's so natural. And, wow, look at this turquoise now. Oh. That is so cool. Uh, that if there is really another big leap to 12.4 or 13, whenever that comes, mm -hmm. then I, I could assume, I could see all of those remaining edge cases that I experience being fixed. Yeah. And in that case, then I'm like, if, if everything is fixed for me, then it's just a question of like, well, how many cases outside of more my driving are there? Mm -hmm. But I, I need to at least see it, everything fixed for me for my simple area of driving yeah. before I would feel confident about any near, you know, mid-term or uh, robotaxi capability. Mm, that makes sense. Oh, this is going quite a... Oh, okay, so we're going a lot around this lake. There's a lake here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Have you been back here or no? Uh, this section, yes. Yeah, yep. the, the back section, uh, that was all new to me. Uh, okay, so that yeah. area was new, but you have this I've area been here. Mm -hmm. yeah. To me, this feels like the back section. Yeah. <laughs> where was, where were we a minute ago? We were like over here? Yeah, yeah. closer to the I think. Oh, it's telling me to pay attention to the road because <laughs> I think it noticed that I'm looking here for a long time. Ah, uh, interesting. Oh, there's a new Model 3. Oh, yeah. Model 3 Highland and the home is for sale. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I bought a new Tesla and sold the house. Yeah. Maybe it comes with. Yeah, I've actually heard people that, that they've gotten warnings for looking at the navigation too long. Oh. And that, those warnings, if you get a seven of them or something, then oh. you lose full self-driving access. Wow. I'm not sure if that if that counts because that was. I'm not sure, but. Um, yeah. That's the first time I've gotten that. So I've never gotten that for looking at the phone or anything looking at else. the screen too long or, or anything. So that's the first first experience with that. Yeah. There's looks sort of like ranch farm. Right Maybe. Is that the polo grounds? Mm hmm It is. Okay. Like, uh, I think polo grounds. It's a very quiet, uneventful neighborhood. Yeah. That was that was a little jerky. That was the first sort of jerky turn I've experienced here. Could have easily just you know taken a lazy turn across, but I, it didn't want to get into the other lane even though there's not a car in sight. Mm -hmm. So, did you feel it all jerky back there, or you didn't notice it? A little bit, but it might be more of a case of the wheel jerking in front of me, which is always it's always a little weird when the wheels is like you know moving quickly. Yeah. Nervous I, about I only like felt it. the acceleration part. Of the, okay, I think that's again taking this turn quickly, right? Yeah. Yeah. Big turtle there. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a shiny Corvette. Oh, oh. <laughs> sure. It's a bright red. so naturally, right? Yeah. yeah. If I didn't know, I would think uh, you were driving. Yeah, really, <laughs> I would too. Yeah. <laughs> I some, I sometimes I feel like I am driving. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, wait this a second. Is, let's see here. Uh, yeah, this is interesting. Wow. Very oh, nice. I... Huh? I got nervous and I held oh. the wheel too tight. Oh, got it, got it. I, yeah. So I don't, I didn't, I didn't really mean to disengage there. It just got me nervous because it went a little too fast. Yeah. In my opinion, slow down a little. You should slow down and give the other guy a little more like space. Uh, yeah, I would, I would slow down and let him go. Hmm. But. Uh, but 
It looked like it was clearing. Okay. It was clearing, yeah. but it, I feel like I might have made the other guy uncomfortable, right? Yeah. Because I was coming pretty quick between him and the parking car. And you see, he really almost came to a stop, right? Yeah. Like I, I, I think that was a s slight mistake on our end, but it was not like it was going to cause anything. It just wasn't the most polite way to approach <laughs> the situation. Very, very. Ah, nice. I chose the correct side. I don't like when it gets too close to cars and curbs too. Yeah. That's where I might be more cautious than the average driver. Maybe that's why it happens. I'm not sure. No, I mean, same. They might have been trained or, I don't know. When I tend to drive with people, I feel like they get too close to cars and curbs. So it's not surprising to me that I feel like this FSD does as well because it's been trained by those drivers, basically. That's true. But it, it does make me still nervous sometimes. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, this, this tree is pretty. It's got the pot, the man holes like above the concrete. Yeah, it's still maybe they had to finish it still. Yeah, I feel like they would eventually. Here's what we say. Even the edge cases, I feel like since the dirt just more and more Teslas on the road, and it's just going to be exponentially that the rate of which it's learning is yeah. going to be faster and faster. I would say that was even still much more natural than I think it would have been. Yeah. Before twelve point three. Yeah. I think before twelve point three, that case with that car back there, mm -hmm. it would probably be breaking. It probably would have braked. I think. Oh. Uh, pretty hard and quickly, you know, and, and sort of a jittery. Yeah. And instead, it, it sort of it saw it had the opening and just flowed through. Wow. Um, but it wasn't. Um, it was still natural in the sense that it didn't like do any breaking or jittery. The road. See, we're off the navigation here. It doesn't see the road because it's a brand new road. Yeah. Yeah. So that's interesting. So it's so you can see it handles it handles itself fine when it's off the navigation. There's other places where I've been on a new road that it doesn't know is a road, like at the Tesla store service center mm. in the new parking lot that wasn't it wasn't a road or parking lot before, and it handles itself fine, which is why it confuses. I don't know. It's, it's it's just a little bit funny where it has the navigation problems because sometimes it's it's just naturally handles it, and other times it's like gets in the wrong lane or something. It's just but, uh, so I guess we're gonna go through this town center real briefly, and um, I've never really been here when there's not an event going on, so yeah. maybe there's not gonna be much to actually. Uh, Looks like it just ended. So it's gonna turn right. Oh, there's some stuff here. There's park, little parking going on. Oh my, a lot of Tesla's Model 3, Model, yep. Model Y, Model 3. <laughs> oh, another 3. Model X. Very slowly over the, oh, a little bit too again, like that's too close. Like, to, yeah, it's not too close for your comfort. A little bit, yeah. I mean, I look in the mirror, it's like, okay, it was fine, but it was really too close for comfort for me. I yeah. was like, maybe another f half a foot, a foot, it, because it's trying to kind of stop here. Oh, yeah. maybe that's why. Um, okay, there's no one behind us, so just uh, go here and. Um, so that's what happens. So if I don't park, then it just stops at its, at its and then you just keep going with another. A little yeah, splash pad. Not, yeah. not much traffic there to deal with, actually. So. Yeah. Yep. Almost no traffic. But yeah, got all the parallel parking. It would have been interesting if someone was coming and going from one of these spots, but uh, yeah. it was 
sort of hoping for something like that. <laughs> <laughs> some traffic. Yeah, something abnormal. But I'm sure it would have handled it very naturally. Yeah. Alright, so we got uh, six more minutes and we'll see. Uh, Possibly it would have got, gotten into that wrong left lane and then gotten itself out. And the question is, would it have done so in a way that was completely safe and uh, natural, or would it have uh, risked your life? Yeah. And we just don't know because I'm not willing to. Really, <laughs> I'm not really willing to see what will happen when it gets that far along. Right, maybe I'll do that test sometime, someday, where I'm willing to get on the interstate, mm -hmm. and if it's and if it decides it wants to get out of that full left lane quickly to get in the correct lane, I will just disengage if there's too much traffic. Or if it decides, okay, we're just gonna go on the interstate, we'll see if that that's what happens. Yeah. But, um, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. But otherwise, I mean, basically you could have taken this long meandering drive in a robo taxi, yeah. and you would have felt comfortable for all, right? Absolutely, yeah. Pretty relaxed. Are there any of those spots like going into the Target or uh, even going by that Model X or that other car in the residential area where you would have felt uncomfortable or you would just assume everything was going to be fine? Primarily that uh, the interstate, the lane choice at the, heading towards 75. But uh, other than that, no, they, the others. Felt pretty good. License yeah, plate. Yeah. It's lit AF. <laughs> the Porsche license plate. Interesting. I might have gotten it. It's an agriculture, uh, agriculture license plate. Don't see many farmers driving Porsches, do you? But uh, no, yeah. maybe he owns a big farm and uh, <laughs> doesn't do much of the uh, farming work. owned farmland out here and sold it. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the brothers, maybe. Yeah, one of the brothers. <laughs> Visitors on the left, residents on the right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll see how it handles that. When I went in earlier, the gate was open. Oh, yeah. Would be funny at some point if, you know, to handle those kind of situations, there was like a, uh, the ability for the car to talk to the gate security person, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I am here as a robo taxi to deliver a passenger or to pick up a passenger. <laughs> that would be so cool. That would be hilarious. Well, maybe, maybe in 15 years we get to. <laughs> yeah. There's so many movies with this kind of thing that you just, you're just like. Uh, it's coming. Right? It's so it's, it's so easy to imagine. So. Yeah. Okay, so it's turning right here. Yeah. What an easy Sunday drive, huh, Dan? Absolutely. Yeah, very relaxing. 
My name is Scott Cooney. I started Clean Technica to promote clean energy and other sustainable alternatives, and for 13 years, we've been moving markets. If we had a nickel for every time someone told us they bought their first EV, solar, e-bike, or fill-in-the-blank clean energy solution, we'd be a cable TV channel by now. But we don't get those nickels. So unfortunately, we could use your help to reach a few more people. If just 1% of our audience chipped in a few bucks a month, we could hire dozens of great journalists and promote all sorts of climate solutions. It's easy. Just go to cleantechnica.com support and sign up with a credit card in seconds. Cancel any time. But we'll be sending out some cool perks too, so I think you'll want to stick around. With your support, we'll keep leading the charge. Thank you so much.